Alrighty hosses, welcome back and in this video I want to talk to you about pushing and pulling. Now this is a cool little trick that you can do to make your columns appear in different orders depending on which device you're using. So for example on a desktop your columns are going to appear in completely different order than if you're looking at it on a phone and I'll show you guys why it's handy and why you'd ever want to do this. So I already have a row and we'll just make a single row with like three columns in it for this little example. So I'm going to make three different columns. So class, I'll just say coal MD5, and let's give them each a different background too. So background, this will be a light green, and we'll just say like a, um, column A. And the first one, column A, we'll just say that this is our main banner. Um, I don't know, maybe it's like a cool image we had made up, but this is the main um, banner for the home page. Now we also want to have two other columns. So I'll keep this one at five and put this one at two, it, although it really doesn't matter. Just make sure that they all add up to 12. So this can be column B and this can be column C. And let me change the background for each one. So light green, light uh, coral, and light uh, salmon. All right. So right now, as you'd expect, whenever you run this, this is going to be first. This is going to be second. This is going to be third. So let's check that out. All right. So A, B, and C. And now, whenever we shrink it, A, B, and C. But here's the thing. Our boss came in and he's like, Bucky, um, this is the main banner. So don't you want to put this in the middle? for desktop sites. I'm like, yeah, that would uh, actually be a good idea. But the thing is, if I were to stick this in the middle, then anyone looking at it on a phone would, you know, have a little column above it and it would appear right here. So somehow we need to figure out how to get this banner to appear in the middle whenever you're looking at it on a desktop and also on the top whenever you're looking at it on a phone. Pretty tricky, eh? Well, that's where pushing and pulling comes in. So whenever you push and pull, you can add another push and pull class. And basically what you're saying is, I'm going to add a condition, and if the condition is true, move this column. And it's really easy, so call MD push 5. Now, whenever you see the keyword push, it means move the columns to the right. So what we're saying here, all this class is saying is, whenever you have a screen that's MD or greater, and that means just laptop, um, you know, a desktop, basically any regular computer screen, then take this column and move it five to the right. Now what that means is since we move that one to the right, this one that's there right now, we got to move it five to the left. So pushing means move it five to the right and pulling means move it five columns to the left. So now what happens, check it out. It usually was A, B, and C since this is a desktop right now whenever I holy hot tamale refresh it it said okay since that condition was true I'm gonna take A and move it five to the right so A is now here and I'm gonna take B and move it five to the left so it pretty much was at that starting point now whenever we look at this on mobile look what happens since mobiles are smaller than MD this condition doesn't run at all and it just follows these rules right here. So it's like these ones don't even exist until you get to MD or greater, in other words, large screen devices. So just remember, whenever you want to add conditional rules, that's what you do. Pushing means move it to the right and pulling means move it to the left. And if you remember that, you'll be fine. So thanks for watching. See you next time.